Hey guys, welcome back to Fleet Friday. This week we're up in the Bronx and we're going to be taking a look at one of the Sox support ladder companies. This is SSL 50. It's one of 25 SSLs throughout the city of New York. This unit is a 2015 Ford F550 with a utility body on the back. It's cross-staffed by two firefighters off its parent ladder company. It's assigned on the major matrix assignment, which is a major emergency incident with the potential of multiple casualties with an enhanced technical rescue resources. So anything from a collapse, train derailment, plane crash, technical rescue, tunneling, trenching, shoring, cutting, complicated extrications. They are also assigned on decon task force, which their associated engine would be engine 89, and they carry the decon stuff on this truck. This truck has seating for five, but it's usually cross-staffed when it's used as an SSL and staffed by two firefighters off the ladder company. These trucks are equipped with an MDT, so they can also be go in service as a rapid response vehicle and usually staffed by an overtime officer and two firefighters. For like hurricanes and snowstorms, and even during high volume calls for EMS during COVID-19. They can be assigned on CFR runs, CO detectors, electrical emergencies, elevator calls, flooded basements, scaffolding, trees, wires down during high winds, and they can respond without the ladder company when they have an officer. These members also have hazmat functions, including detection and identification of many hazardous materials, including chemical warfare agents and radioactive materials. They are trained in search, rescue, and removal of victims in contaminated areas, as well as confined space, high angle, collapse rescue, and trench rescue operations. In this first compartment here, we have some purse tools. Uh, we got the uh, ram here. And we got a cutter over here. And you got the generator and a uh, wheel chuck. We got two SCBA packs, which can be used when it's either an SSL or when it's a rapid response vehicle. In here we got some glow sticks, some tarps, flares, gasoline for the chainsaw. Uh, I got chainsaw chaps for your legs, uh, the helmet with a shield, some rope, fire extinguisher. The uh, chainsaw is usually added when it's a rapid response vehicle as they respond to tree limbs down and wires down and all that kind of stuff so they need a chainsaw on this vehicle. And here, uh, as this is used also for decon, so they have two rolls of inch three quarter and a garden hose and some extra storage space. The other side of the rig here, we got some searchlights, some extensions, and a generator. got a tow strap, some garden hose, hazardous materials tape, danger tape, uh, hose connections, lockout tag out kit, got an axe, set of irons, K-tool, elevator keys, some tape, bolt cutters, rope, caution tape, fire line tape, maximus tool, some hand tools, You got some spare cylinders in here. In this compartment we have some EMS bags, MCI bag with antidotes, biological warfare, uh, AED added when the RRV is in service, electrical reel, a thing of hose there.
Now this truck carries a lot of stuff. It has uh, buckets of uh, liquid soap and bleach, speedy dry, has the four to one mechanical advantage system, uh, carabiners, rescue sender rope grab, adjustable anchor straps, stokes, stretcher, uh, backboards, skeds, which are those yellow things to bring out patients, body bags, triage tags, decon drums, the uh, decon tent is in here, there's tarps, buckets, there's shovels, brushes, spray nozzles, sprayer wand, decon, more decon equipment. In these bags we have level B chemical protective suits. I believe there's a total of 12. Uh, there's coveralls, hearing protection, safety goggles, confined space helmets, class 3 full body harnesses, uh, rubber boots, diaper harness for victims. On this side of the truck we got some detection, hazmat detection equipment, uh, Ludlum uh, survey kits, hazmat operations, uh, Ludlum screening kits, they got ionization detection, radiation detection, chemical agent monitors, uh, Ludlum radiation detection, dosimeter pagers, all kinds of hazmat stuff. We got the Ludlum here, which is for the Alpha, Beta, and Gamma radiation survey. Sock support companies are trained in collapse, rescue, high angle, trench, and confined space. They are also hazmat tech level one, which is entry assessment and decon. They can perform mitigation. Offensive work only when under supervision of a hazmat or hazmat tech officers. A SOC support ladder may be special called for operations at weapons of mass destruction and as well as special call to assist the rescue squad or hazmat company operating at a scene. I'm going to list some more information about the SOC support ladders in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Fleet Friday, and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.